It sounds like one of those late night TV commercials. Only the warehouse offers this exclusive movie level guarantee. Too, too good to be true. I don't believe it. Call now, we'll double your order. Scalability on Ethereum? <laughs> I'm not falling for that one. I've spent well over $10,000 on Ethereum gas fees just in the last year. Ethereum transactions are so expensive to do, but that's where all the fun is. That's where the most exciting NFT collections launch, the most dApps, the most everything is still all centered around Ethereum because they got that first mover advantage. So today we're going to be looking at optimism, which is supposed to be the new scalability stack for Ethereum to fix all these problems. Yeah, we'll see about that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna walk through it. I'm gonna show you how I'm setting it up, how I'm using it. You know, we'll go from there to see if it's really working. But before that, I'm gonna show you something else. How about Tensa X of Tails? I resident Shiba Inu and Doge. The most beautiful pup in the world. She owns Boss Coin. My name is Bosk. I work here. Please smash that subscribe button and let's jump into today's video. So you want to earn passive income mining crypto, but did you know that there's a ton of scammers selling ASIC miners? Yeah, which is the best way to earn passive income with cryptocurrency. Luckily, there's Compass, who not only sell ASIC miners, but they'll also connect you with co-location facilities, basically mining farms that will host your miners for you, and you just earn the rewards. Learn more about mining Bitcoin with Compass with the link in the video description below. The new scalability stack for Ethereum. I'll say it again, we've heard about optimism before, and optimistic rollups, and layer two solutions, and whatever else, but here's what's interesting. Okay, Uniswap has deployed on optimistic Ethereum. Okay, I'm interested, you got my attention. When you click it, it'll say, do you wanna add optimism You know, as a network? Very cool, very easy to do. I am assuming you know what MetaMask is, and you have it set up. If you do not, we have a full video guide and tutorial on that. We also have a full video review and tutorial guide on the Uniswap exchange. So check those out if you still need to get up to speed on those things. So, you know, let, let's do a let's do a test transaction here. We're going to send one or excuse me, 0.1 Ethereum to optimistic Ethereum, right? So this is a worth about $300. So I will deposit this is going to cost me $53 on the, the Ethereum mainnet, the Ethereum normal blockchain, right? It's ridiculous. The graphics are nice though. Boom, 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 bang. Oh my gosh. The still layers there, bang, bang, bang. Uh, but anyway, they're confirming on the main that right now I'm initiating a transaction on the normal Ethereum blockchain. So right now I'm on gateway.optimism.io. And so I click over, I go to uniswap.org. I'll link all, I'll link out all this stuff down in the video description below. Click the links, it'll take you exactly where you wanna go. There's no referral link with Uniswap, okay? So don't think that I'm like trying to shameless plug it or something. I bring it up because there's a lot of scam sites. There's gonna be impersonator Uniswaps that if you click on them and you approve it with your wallet, basically they will drain and siphon your wallet. It's really terrifying stuff and unfortunately, a lot of noobs, you're taking advantage of that way. Uniswap is now supporting Optimism and Arbitrum. We will talk about Arbitrum in a future video, but today we are focused on Optimism, a layer two solution in beta. Start trading on something that looks like Elon Musk named it, okay? You gotta bridge your assets from layer one to layer two. That's what L L1 and L2 mean. So. Layer one is just the traditional Ethereum blockchain, Ethereum 1.0. Layer two is gonna be optimism in this case. So we are already in the process of doing this. When you click this and you open it up, it brings you to the page that we are already on here. When I clicked approve and gateway.optimism.io added this, these details to my MetaMask, it included the block explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my address here up on optimistic Ethereum. Right now we're waiting for the transaction to go through the Ethereum blockchain and then their bridge and then show up on the optimistic Ethereum layer two solution. A cool function about Etherscan is that so I click this and it'll show me what other addresses or uh, blockchains I'm using with this same address. So Etherscan will just take me to the main you know, Ethereum chain. And we can see that this 
uh, was completed about a minute ago to the Optimism Gateway. Optimism is gonna be running on a proof of stake network, right? So there's nodes running it, there's no miners and stuff like that. Traditionally, uh, pretty fast, less decentralized than say something like proof of work, uh, you know, generally speaking. But while we wait for that to show up, let's talk about a couple fun, cool airdrop opportunities. We've talked about Rabbit Hole recently, but it's likely that they're gonna airdrop some tokens because they have a pretty cool setup here. So I've got to switch back to the Ethereum blockchain or I could be on Matic and in this case. So I can connect with MetaMask and see my level. Nothing crazy, right? But I'm connected and I'm leveling up. And so with this association, they will, if they do an airdrop, which I don't know 100%, but I think it's pretty likely with the way everything's going, then it's going to most likely be proof of like participation. The higher your level is, maybe there's gonna be a minimum, say like level five to get the airdrop. And then say if you are like up to level 10, you get even more tokens. You know, something simple, something scaling like that where you reward not only those who have used your platform at all, but reward those more who have used it heavily. Incentivize and reward your core user base. That's kind of like the the mindset um, with, with they call them smart airdrops now. Uh, OpenSea.io, very likely to see an airdrop here on the horizon. We've been talking about it a bunch. Um, obviously, we've also been talking about Zapperfy, likely to see an airdrop there too. I'll, I'll quit bugging you guys about this so much, um, but you know, I'm just excited and I, I just with it's airdrop season again. There's been time to work on all this stuff. It, all, all the fingers are pointing towards this direction. Also, the infamous MetaMask airdrop, how to become eligible. Use the swap function from within a MetaMask on the Ethereum blockchain. It's a DEX aggregator, decentralized exchange aggregator. It crawls all the trades and it's supposed to give you the best deal, but I actually find that swaps in there are pretty terrible. So I only use it a couple of times to become eligible for the airdrop. Other than that, I try to never use the uh, the swap function in, in MetaMask. So let's go ahead and refresh this. So it's been so it's been about five minutes. I'm still waiting for my Ethereum to show up. I mean, it's not ideal. I'd, I'd like it to appear a little bit faster. Obviously, the kind of user experience is is going down so far. But you know, they'll say it's a beta and still early and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we will see how long this takes. So what's interesting is it says an age of basically the original transaction to compare so we got 12 minutes and then i'll refresh this probably gonna say 12 minutes so it has it's it's aged right at, at, at that same exact time but it did not populate in my actual like in the block explorer here or in my wallet for about 10 minutes um which i think is is this kind of peculiar but whatever um so this is on the same gateway. Before we jump into actually using Optimism, right? Let's just cover real quick, how do you get your money back out? How do you get it back to the main chain? Well, you just use the withdrawal function on the bridge. So with this, there's a fee, $1.87, and then you have a massive gas fee of $182. That's that's a lot, but we look at the the optimism fee here right here. Yo, I'm such an idiot! <laughs> I thought I was just doing the approve function, and I was gonna come back to that. Oh my god! I just obliterated my money. Oh no! <laughs> I can't believe that. Wow. Um, let's let's do it again. I'm gonna pay another gas fee, and there's a one week withdrawal. I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've talked about it before, and uh, we're gonna talk about it again. It's gonna be GSX, the gold secured currency they have real world assets backing what they call the first global stable growth coin 
It's a pretty cool concept that's pegged to their own basically assets, right? They're building out their own play to earn game. They have their own social media platform and instant invest on there or Stratus investment, which allows you to buy into these cryptocurrencies if you want to, including things like credit debit cards, not financial advice. You do whatever you want to do. Link out in the video description below. Ah, oh, well then. Um, <laughs> So while we wait for this transaction to complete, as we have our Ethereum that we just I can't, I can't believe I did that. Well, you know, that's, this is a tutorial of me learning on the fly. So you can witness me and all my genius. The interesting thing though, is that, so that fee to, to transact just on optimism was $1.86 and we get a very clear comparison for example with our transaction where we send the ethereum in so that's 67 dollars that is a massive decrease understand that this is still an expensive transaction all things considered one dollar and 86 cents what if you get charged two bucks every time you used your credit card well you'd probably be looking for a better credit card um, ironically there's the three percent upcharge and stuff like that but that's a different day and subject. So we have our uh, new Ethereum here on the way. And so we'll go click back over to Optimism here. Basically at this point, we're just gonna be waiting for our Ethereum to, to show back up and uh, we'll move forward with this tutorial. All right, our, we're back in action. Our, our Ethereum is here. We, we are back in action, my friends. Um, so let's just go ahead and buy some DAI stable coin here on uh, Ethereum. And let's just go ahead and put in 0.01 Ethereum. So that'll get us about 30 bucks. So we'll go ahead and just round up to 30 die. We'll go ahead and click swap and complete that transaction. Our fee is gonna be 0.001 Ethereum. And so we will pull this up on the Explorer and verify that USD value when it loads, which will be shortly. Uh, but that transaction was very quick. We open our wallet, we look at the assets, Die isn't populated here, but that's not a difficult thing to add. So um, we can go ahead and grab a new liquidity position. So you can see Die is showing up here in our, our pool asset. So we'll just go and click this and we'll go the maximum of this liquidity pair that we can provide, which would be 30 and $30 worth of Ethereum. We approve that they can spend our Die. Basically, this is a this is a, this is a DAP, a decentralized application, a DEX. So we have to say, hey, you can use my stuff. You see these transactions are going through real quick, which is really fun and exciting because Ethereum is incredibly expensive and slow these days. So click, click, and we will uh, confirm that transaction. Boom, just like that, it has gone through as well. So you'll notice the bridge is slow, right? Uh, like at least like the initial uh, setup there. But once you're actually interacting on this optimism layer, it's very quick, it's very seamless. In the notes, they boast near instant transaction finality and low transaction fees while preserving the security guarantees of layer one. Don't you be talking good about proof of work. Okay, because you guys, you know, you Ethereum devs and Uniswap devs done been slamming all good on proof of work and us mining farmers. I'd like to take a brief moment to thank today's video sponsor, DBX, who are on an absolute exchange listing spree for example they just launched on bitforex and bitmart and l bank and white bit and then they're going to la token and probit and coins bit <laughs> that's a lot of different cryptocurrency exchanges but what does this token even do dbx is here to facilitate fast international payments you can choose your commission rate Simple mobile payments, security control over your money. It works anywhere, anytime. And there's financial transparency that your local government is unlikely to be giving you. But why would you invest in this? Obviously, we can't give financial advice. Whatever you choose to do is up to you and your decision only. But DBX offers an ROI or return on investment with monthly savings from the masternode. Guaranteed to increase the amount of coins you have running one. The DBX digital asset is also an interesting proposition because it claims to be a risk diversification provider for investors in legalized locations on the planet. An investor can easily, they claim, exit DBX without touching dirty fiat, right? You know, like US dollars and things like that, currencies to such instruments as real estate, raw materials, commodities, and the stock market. 
One of the cool things about DBX is that they have a public team. And that Anon stuff that is really a lot more likely to rug pull you and exit scam you because there's no accountability. Their whole team is listed on their site. They're public and you can dive into the, their details. They're listing everything from LinkedIn's to Facebook profiles, Twitter accounts, and even Instagram. But there's one more piece of DBX and that's their ready-made solution. They provide an option for online stores to accept payment. They have an API and personal account to try to reach out and uh, deploy taxi services. Then for retailers, they conclude a contract for making payments in favor of thousands of service providers that provide acquisition. Then for agents and landlords, they ensure the operation of a wide ATM network by offering software installation for terminal owners and accepting offers from leasers for the placement of terminals and checkpoints. Learn more about DBX with we'll link out in the video description below. You can navigate directly on the Block Explorer if you'd like to, or you can just pull up the transaction here right from the MetaMask wallet and it'll take you to the exact transaction ID. So you can see when I did this multi-call transaction, liquidity provider transaction, uh, my transaction fee was three bucks. That would probably be like $100 on the Ethereum blockchain right now because it's, you know, TLDR is a more expensive transaction because there's more, you know, transfers and calls associated. You see that's basically multiple things happened here on the blockchain. So. I don't want to go on and on today's video. I mean, that, that's kind of it. Optimism, uh, very easy to use, very straightforward. Once you get through the bridge, one week withdrawal period, very long. Understand that. Uh, definitely understand that. I was also dealing with Ethereum in and out. So you got those Ethereum gas fees. Um, transacting on the Optimism layer with Uniswap. I mean, it's it's fun. It's it's engaging. It's instant transactions or near instant, right? And uh, lower fees. The fees are still high. They're more, they're still more expensive than most of my transactions on the Binance Smart Chain, but it's really fun to be much closer to Ethereum, right? And even just say using Uniswap, but not getting absolutely obliterated with transaction fees. Well, at least until you go in and out of the bridge. But remember, you deal in bigger sums of money, you'll be able to absorb more of these transaction costs along the way because it'll be a lower percentage. I know that's easier said than done. It's just, you know, the heads up disclaimer, the best thing I can do and give, but. My background is frozen. It's time for me to go. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this video helped. I hope it was fun, informative, or you can at least laugh at me losing my money. Uh, if, you, if you want to see me lose more money, I guess, slap the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. We upload daily here. I'll see you tomorrow. Please be advised, there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money, I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.